Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm the cider maker here at Angry Orchard. Today we're making cider. For us, cider making starts in the orchard. At harvest time, we're testing fruit for sugar, acidity, and tannin. Here in New York, the season is basically September to November. We used some fruit off our own orchard, specifically uh, Rome apples, and then we also pressed some Baldwin apples and some Rhode Island greening apples from around New York State. Some of these apples stay on the tree a little bit longer. They develop more complex aromas and higher sugar. Sometimes we'll be picking fruit right off the tree and sending it right through the press, but we also uh, will store fruit in cold storage, and that'll allow us to use the fruit kind of into February and March. So the first step in our process is dumping apples into a sorting tray. What we're trying to do here is just get a visual inspection. Um, it's, it's the first part of ensuring a quality cider. We want to know if the apples are in good shape or you know, if they're a little rotten like this one. And if so, we toss it to the side. So the apples go through, they get a, basically get a shower and uh, are cleaned by the brushes that you can see spinning. And there's a second wash. They get to soak in water so we get rid of any stone sticks. Uh, anything that might be on the apples. And then before it goes up the elevator, we get a final wash right here uh, to really clean the apples up. <laughs> Next we go up the elevator and we're gonna mill the apples into pulp. So what comes out is basically an apple mash. And we send that through the press. The belts tighten over the pulp and squeeze all the juice out. And what you see come out on the back end is pumice and that's what's left over after we removed all the juice. It takes us about a half an hour to process a bin of apples, and that gives us somewhere between 60 and 80 gallons of juice. We just got done pressing uh, and filling this tank with juice. This particular cider is going to be fermented wild or native or natural. We're not going to pitch any yeast into it. So the yeast that will bring it to dryness is on the apple skins, in the air, from the orchard. Um, so that's really an expression of terroir of this place. And then we also play around with different wine yeasts, different combinations of wine yeast, uh, different fermentation times, temperatures. It, it's sort of limitless what we can do in the cellar, and we're always looking for new and interesting ways to, to ferment. After about a month and a half to two months, we'll have a dry cider. At that point, the cider is destined for oak, so we'll take it uh, out of this tank and we'll age it in some oak barrels. So the cider that you saw us making a few months ago uh, has finished out in tank um, and been aging in these used wine barrels for the last couple months. These barrels gave the cider an opportunity to kind of develop and mature and turn into an interesting and, and, and complex cider. So it's got uh, sort of an unfiltered character to it. Still, uh, still pretty cloudy. We'll probably end up filtering this. It's uh, got some really nice wild fermentation character, a little bit of funk, a little bit of phenolics, like a nice bittersweet uh, apple aroma. Uh, it's totally dry at the moment. Definitely we'll do some blending on the back end with this, but all in all, a really nice cider. The next thing is to get it to drinkers. We're kegging. Uh, and those kegs go a pretty short distance from our keg machine uh, here in Walden to our tap room here in Walden. And then we also bottle some of this cider and it, it's available in our, in our bottle shop in Walden and, and Walden only. So come visit us. Cheers.